I think those who have spoken, please remove your cards. I think, Honorable Member for Malava, you've already spoken. Honorable Latandi, you've spoken. Pull out your cards. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, there's a technical hitch I've had. That's why the systems are not removing their names. So, Madam Speaker, I rise to add my voice, not praise, on this uh, speech by His Excellency, the President's address to Parliament. I hesitate to paint a rosy picture, especially because the public know otherwise. Madam Speaker, you know, numbers don't lie. When we talk about issues to do with the economy, we cannot be telling the public that are, we are doing so well when people cannot even, make basic, cannot even meet their basic needs. Madam Speaker, we are aware that under the current regime, taxes have been increased, so there is less spending power. Yet, even despite that, there is very little new development that is going on in the country. Madam Speaker, we have heard here that Kenya's exchange rate has dropped. Madam Speaker, when this regime came into power, the Kenyan shilling was 123 exchanging to the, to the dollar. Now it is 129. How is that a drop? When, it, when, when this regime came into power, they pushed it all the way up to 160. Now when they sort out the mess they created, now it becomes a drop. It is not a drop because we must compare this regime and the previous regime. Madam Speaker, we are being told that inflation is at a low of 2.7%. It is, it is a simple calculation that you need to understand. Inflation is a, cost, uh, is a price of goods and services. When people have no money to spend, then you cannot raise the prices because it, the prices are set by the laws of demand and supply. So if there's, no man, if there's no money to spend, there's no demand. Therefore, prices cannot go up. So inflation, obviously... Has to, has, has to improve. So, Madam Speaker, on the issue of, uh, on, the issue of um, on the issue of the economy, I don't think we are doing very well. Madam Speaker, on education, the funding model has failed Kenyans. A lot of our children do not know whether they will do exams at the end of the year, and a lot of them haven't even gotten the money. You saw lecturers going on strike. We are happy that that was sorted out. But, uh, Madam Speaker, the CS for Education was in the house, and we talked about GSS classes, transition to next year, 2025. Madam Speaker, the CS told us here that they are putting up 16,000 classes. The next day, I think on Saturday, he was talking about 18,000 classes. I'm beginning to ask myself, who do I believe? The CS that was in the house on Wednesday or the CS that was speaking in a public baraza on Saturday? Because those are two totally different figures. But Madam Speaker, the reality is this, that the number of schools is much, much more than the number of classes that are being put up. And of course, they are not even talking about the issue of the laboratories because junior secondary is a secondary school that requires laboratories and workshops for those science and technical subjects. Madam Speaker, on the issue of housing, His Excellency the President told us there are very many houses that are now ready for Kenyans to purchase. And I ask myself, Madam Speaker, these houses are built on public land. These houses are built using our taxpayers' money. Why is the government selling these houses? Why can't you ballot and give those people that are, that are lucky to get these houses? Because we have already, it's like you have built a road on taxpayers' money. You cannot pull at all and start charging us. So it's the same thing. I think when it comes to issue of housing, the houses have been built. Let them be balloted and be given to Kenyans because you cannot sell me something that you have built with my money. If it is my money and I've built, you've built it, it becomes mine. Madam Speaker, on the values and um, principles of uh, good governance that uh, the President was to deal with, the first one on Article 10 a is the issue of democracy and the rule of law. Madam Speaker, the agencies of government have been weaponized always against the Kenyans. Madam Speaker, I want to give an example of the, is, uh, the, the former President, Uru Kenyatta. His own son was being harassed that he's in possession of firearms that are not supposed to be in his arms. Yet he had been given these firearms in a legal manner. We have weaponized the security systems. The youth came to attempt to give their opinion to the National Assembly. Under Article 37, which is our constitutional mandate, the young man that was shot outside parliament is a member of, is a, is a person from my constituency. Madam Speaker, tens of young people, the future of this country has been killed using government bullets. How is that supposed to be a good state of the nation, Madam Speaker? So I want to say on the issue of the rule of law, this regime has failed. On the matter of participation of the people, you know, we ignored 
the voices of the people in 2023 finance bill. We ignore the voices of the people in the 2024 finance bill. Now we're ignoring the voice of the church. And Madam Speaker, as a result of that, there's always going to be consequences. Madam Speaker, it's important to note that also Article 10 2B of How, how come other people are getting I'm not begging. Other people are being given every single speaker before me who are given an opportunity to finish their sentence. Except me. If you don't want me, the house tell me. You see, what you should have done, Honorable Bui, is may I get a minute? You make a request, you don't shout. Honorable Bui, the proper way, every member has been saying, may I have an extra minute to finish my sentence? Because you didn't ask for time, you just. Uh, the Honorable Pukose. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for allowing me to contribute to the State of the Nation address by His Excellency. Honorable Speaker, just to respond to some of the allegations made by my colleague, Honorable Bumbui, you remember that uh, Honorable Bumbui was part of the team that was demonstrating with sufurias on, on the head, claiming that the price